Hi everyone, it's Gail, and I'm here with a couple of weeks of Marguerite Miller. I'm behind a week, so i uh, going to do week 22 and week 23, and then I have another project to do once we finish these. I think they're going to be fairly quick this time, so uh, let's see. Let's say hi and hugs to Sharita, Josette, Sonia, and Pat. Thank you so much for watching and your kind comments. Okay, here we go. Yeah, didn't get her done last week. It happens. Sometimes life gets in the way. Okay, so this one, we've got a tag. So this is the tag. Something seen in the sky. I have, I think I'm going to put in the background here, I'm going to put this birdie page because it's, it's rather large. So I think it will go in there fine. Okay. Uh, something with wheels. I have this little trolley car thing that it's, um, it's called the tour train here in Helena and, um, you ride on it and it takes you around the town and tells you the history and stuff like that. Something sharp. I have this unicorn horn <laughs> and then washi tape. We'll grab some washi tape that goes with, if we can find something fun and then money, there's there's little money indicators on here, like seven cents, 51 cents. So th that's going to be that. It's going to be a quick one, I think. Okay, so I haven't used out of this. This is the wonderful Bees, Birds, and Butterflies sticker anthology. If you go to my favorite things and type in that sticker book, you can order it on Amazon. Okay, let's see how this works. Ooh, that could be the washi tape right there. I'm a thinking. Okay, so my thought was to stick this most of the way over this. Okay, let's see here. <laughs> okay, just gonna go right about there. Committed, I'm committed. Okay, so that's on there. That would be something seen in the sky. Okay, and then maybe I'll put that there and I'll put it as a pocket so I can put this in there. I think it's better covering up the bird, don't you? So maybe I'll put that there, that there. This will go in here, and then we'll put some washi tape on it or something. Okay, I think we have a plan. Oh, I forgot to look at the time, didn't I? It was about 20-ish after. We'll go for 20-ish after. Well, so today's Monday. I, I know this is airing on Wednesday, but I'm filming it on Monday. We had a great weekend. We, once again, we were on the road. So last week, you guys, I'm telling you, life is crazy. So last week, Monday, we were in Bozeman taking Alfie back. Tuesday, we went to my grandson's choral concert for spring. Um, Thursday, we went to Bozeman for my granddaughter's eighth grade graduation. And then Saturday, we drove to Dillon, Montana, which is a couple... It's about two hours away-ish to watch the girls play basketball. So, yeah, <laughs> we've been busy. <laughs> oh. Somewhere in there, I try and get a video done every day. <laughs> <sighs> it's been busy. but So, today is my video day. I'm going to make multiple videos today. And then... Um, Let's see how, I think I'm going to move that over slightly. I'm um, going to do multiple videos today because my husband's taking me on a date. How exciting is that? So tomorrow we're going to go to the movie. We haven't been to the movie pre you know what. And we're going to go to see Maverick, my daughter and her family got my husband tickets for Father's Day. So that's what we're going to do. It'll be fun. I mean, 
there's been quite the raves about the movie, but I don't know if it's exactly my cup of tea, but that's okay. I'll be going. It's just going to be fun to go to the movie. I love movie popcorn. Oh my land, that's one of my favorites. So that will be fun. Okay, so all we need is washi tape and this one's done. So I kind of want to look at my washi tape and see what I might have to... I could try... Nope, that's too peachy. Too peachy. Of course I didn't... Of course I didn't pick it out ahead of time. Now I like that and it's got airplanes in it and they're in the sky too. So let's use this. I mean, I could use some of this edge, but I feel like that's too much. Let's just use this. So yeah, so anyways, that's what we're doing tomorrow. So I might have time to do a video in the morning, but that's it. So today I'm just gonna, I'm gonna be in the basement all day, basically, is what I'm telling you. Looks lovely outside, the sun's shining and everything, but you know, I have stuff to do. I have stuff I need to do. I'm going to put that over that, those letters. Okay. And then let's put a piece down here to cover. We'll just put it in the two places to cover up what's underneath the sticker. That's fine. Okay. I um, spent a good amount of time. The next one, oh my gosh, I spent forever trying to find one of the things for it. Okay. I'm feeling like I'd kind of like one here and one there. So that's five. So that's still kind of our odd number. Just needs a little extra something on that side. Yeah, this is the first time I've gotten behind, isn't it? So, but that's okay. We're going to catch up today. All right, and then this one is done. Fini. There we go. Not fancy, but it has all the elements. Alrighty then, let's do number number 23. So we're just gonna flip this over. It happened that we are just on one page. Okay, so this one, oh, MG, it was difficult. Not this, this the song lyrics, that's easy. We'll put those on there red i have some red here on the napkin it also said a napkin so i'll use this this was the hard part a road sign i looked on the internet couldn't find anything so i went outside <laughs> took a picture of the stop sign that is on the corner of my we live on a corner lot it's on the corner of my house <laughs> Mike said, what are you doing? <laughs> I said, I'm taking a picture of the stop sign. <laughs> He's like, oh. <laughs> okay, she's officially lost it. <laughs> oh. So, yeah. It's kind of a pretty picture with the trees and, you know, it's <laughs> behind it. The trees behind it. This over here is my friend's. Sandra's house. So funny. Yeah, that's Sandra's house. Yeah, well, there you have it. <laughs> the neighbors wonder about me. My husband wonders about me. You guys probably wonder about me. Okay, so what I was thinking is kind of going something like this. Because you're supposed to have the song, lyrics, and title. And so... Okay, so, and then 
I still need this, which would be better over that. Maybe do I want to cut it off? Cut off my neighbor's house? Maybe that's a good idea. Okay. Just going to cut that off. Because we don't really need it. And then maybe what I'll do is put that up there. And this kind of down here. And because I think the napkin would look better on the music. Can't exactly see the title. I think I'm going to cut this to be a bit thinner. Just cut off this edge and see because then more of the stop sign can show. Something like that. Huh, I don't know. Rubber stamping's also on this one, so we'll see. We'll see how we do. Let's just go for it. You know, no sense in dilly dallying around. So I have a feeling tonight's movie that we watch after dinner is going to be Top Gun. <laughs> I'll be, I'll be completely Tom Cruised out. <laughs> oh, gosh! I heard somebody say, um, "Oh, it was um, on Jimmy Kimmel. It was, uh, it was Dax Shepard was on there, and he said." Tom Cruise is single-handedly saving the movie industry because apparently it's doing real well. Okay, so I want it right there. Okay. Ish. So, yeah. Because apparently it's doing real well at the box office. But my kids who have seen it, my son and my middle daughter, they said it was fabulous. Oh. Mm. We'll see. We shall see. I'll go ahead and give my movie review after we've seen it. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, got that going this week. And then Wednesday, I have lunch with my friend it's Diane and Catherine. And then... Friday with my friend Kelly. It's just a social butterfly right now. Okay, so that's cute. I might trim that off a little bit. Okay. Just going to tear this down the crease-ish if I can. Use that for something else. That's a little, that's a little bit of a scrap. Okay. I hope I can't do that. Go right here. Oops. It's always interesting getting the getting the napkins down. Okay, so I basically have red in my sign and in. My napkin. Okay. Didn't quite get enough right there. Okay. I have a little hanging over that I want to get rid of because it was not really the pattern, anyways. Oop. Okay, something with wings, that's the bird. That was the other thing. Um, 
Oh, I don't know what I'm going to do with this, do I? Rubber stampy. Well, I got to put this on there somewhere. Hmm. Okay. I think I have a solution. I need to do some stamping on my pieces like that. I'm getting a plethora in my basket of those bits. Oh, I'm still a kid. I call that one too skinny. See, I think I might put it there and I can repunch the hole. Okay. And then we'll figure out stamping. Oh, I have an idea. Up there. Okay, and then we'll just repunch the hole. Okay. Let's see, those are copper. I think I might have one of those in my stash here. I do. I do. Okay. That worked. Now, rubber stamping, right? I've got everything, but we need rubber stamping. So, one thought I had. Just grab them. These are my things for um, the tracing paper strips, but I'm thinking, what if we put something right there? We'll kind of cover that up a bit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Something with wings, I could use her. I wonder if I have a darker one of her. There's one. She's so stinking cute. Let's use her. <laughs> she can be our wings. The bird, too, but... We'll just put her right over to the edge. I'm going to take this off at her wings. So that's some rubber stamping without actually getting out the stamp pad and stamps. Pre-stamped, we'll call it. There we go. Oh, she's so cute. Maybe a little something there and a little something there. So, I'm kind of liking the idea. Let's see. Let's see who's this. These little hearts. I was thinking one right there might be nice. I don't know why. I'm just preferring a, a straight cut rather than tearing it out, but... I guess my collage, my choice, yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll take off a little of the top on that guy. Okay. I really need to make some more of those little um, strips. We were going to do it at my retreat, and then we never did get to it. Put that there. Now, up here, I think, I'm going to do a clock. Because I've got one here right handy. Okay. 
Okay. Let's get the jaggedy off of there. I'll go down a little bit here. Because I'm thinking that would be fine right there. Okay. Happy day. I think this turned out pretty cool. I like it. It's always fun when something kind of speaks to you. It's like, oh, I like that. I do. It's just fine. Napkin's coming off right here. There we go. Okay. Week 22. Eh. Week 23, I really like. So, very fun. All right. Let's clean up. Let's get on to the next thing. Let's see. Just got to get rid of all these strips and stamped images. Go live where it lives. Gosh. <clears throat> okay. I cut my fingernails and now I can't do anything. <laughs> I can't pick things up off of my, off of my mat. Okay, so what I need to do is um, I need to make some bands to go around these embossed envelopes because every now and again I like to include uh, one of these letter from a journal maker with um, the journals that I make. Sometimes not. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I don't. No hard and fast rule, but I've got some got some pretty good scraps here I think for for doing this so let's let's do it kind of like that on that one might need my scoreboard oh it's on both sides oh that makes it hard I think I'm gonna Okay, this one we should be able to go ahead and just fold, I think. So I'm going to fold it just a tad bit bigger than my envelope because once you put the, the letter in there, it, um, you know, bulks up a little bit. Okay, so... And take off up here and okay so all I'm gonna do is put some glue here well maybe what are you doing what are you doing to me art glitter glue I know it's been a few days Okay, let's see how we do now. Yep, there we go. Just gonna do that. And then I need to find something to decorate that with, which, let me grab one thing, I'll be right back. I was thinking about these little things. Um, I think these were from Journey of Crafting, if I'm not mistaken. Please correct me if I'm wrong. It didn't have any identifying marks on it. Look how cute that is. Okay, cool. So, yeah. So, anyway, we'll get a few of these decorated. And then, and then my next video will be of, um, I'm going to work on my, um, Blue Fern Studios project with the Life's Vignettes, and I'm going to do a start to finish on it. I want to do the whole thing on camera because I'm trying something new that I've never done, don't know how to do, <laughs> going to figure it out. <laughs> okay, that's a cute one. Okay. Now, let's see what we've got. We have 
we've got for this is good that's a pretty one um how wide is that that is about four and a quarter so i'm gonna cut it four and a quarter so i'm gonna go two and two eighths theoretically that will be more or less down the middle okay and then I am going to use a scoreboard for this one because it's cardstock. That other one was more a heavy, like a heavy copy paper. So let's do this. I think what we'll do is just kind of put that there. And I'm going to go one space over just to give it a little bit of wiggle room. Okay. That feel, theoretically, that should work. Keep my scoreboard close because we'll need to do more. Good, good, good. Okay. And I can run on that side of the rows, cut that. I think I can do it semi straight with my scissors. Okay. Let's see. We'll go that way. So I just go on the edge of each. That way it gives it two strips of glue. Now I could have, could have done a little distressing on that. Do I want to? I think I do. <clears throat> the coffee dyed envelope is so. We'll just give it a quick little do around the edges. Okay, so now let's see what we might put on there. Um, I don't, yeah, these are the kind of the wrong colors. Hold the phone. Grabbing some stuff out of a spot where I haven't used in a while. I mean, that pink one there might work. Let's see. That's pretty. Okay. And I have some other little things that were gifted to me over the years. I am really working at using some of my supplies and kind of clearing out my craft room because I, my daughter always looks at me sideways like, seriously, mom, something happens to you, I'm going to not be able to handle it. Not because she's sad, but because my craft room's going to push her over the edge. Okay, there we go. Let's just do another one because I've got one right here. It's the right width and stuff. It's a great way to use up some scraps too, though. Okay, we will do you. Yeah, we'll go this way. Okay. Okay, cool. kind of bust these out was my plan was to just kind of get them done yeah, like right about there got some good bases for clusters here so fits yes yep cool 
cool, cool. I need to, so, um, I could be, I guess I could be using my, that's what I was using. Used the wrong glue, but that doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. <laughs> it was so funny. You guys, I always talk about Mike's cheesecake, you know, and he loves taking it to the kids when we visit and stuff, and they love it so much. So my granddaughter was talking about Mike's cheesecake to her little friend. She's a little friend that has stayed with us before um, because of basketball camp. And uh, <laughs> my granddaughter was saying, oh, Sophie, you think, you think that Pause. pancakes are good. You should taste this cheesecake. I mean, I kind of think the cheesecake wins out over the pancakes. <laughs> oh, man. So funny. No, I don't, I don't care for those on there. Okay. Well, what's this one? That's cute on there. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Anyway, it was hilarious. Sophie said, I think I might have to give that a try. <laughs> Mike's going to be making cheesecakes till the cows come home. But he loves it. It's his creative thing, for sure, cooking. I'm a lucky girl in that respect. Well, I'm a lucky girl in all respects, but that's definitely one of them. Let's see. No. There's this one. That could be good. It's just kind of a, what would you say, neutral background, I guess. <clears throat> okay. of paper. Okie dokie. Let's try that again. Okay. <laughs> this works pretty good though because you can give it about, I don't know, that's probably an eighth of an inch or so that I'm going on either side. Okay. Having a hot moment here. I was telling my husband, I changed our sheets. I don't know what these sheets are made of, but I swear that I'm I'm warmer, hotter. <laughs> They're not flannel or anything, but I'm just like whew, hot at night. So Let's see, what am I doing here? Like that? Yeah. Had a moment of spatial <laughs> lapse there. Okay, that's fun. And that could be that could be something different. So let's look in um, my clusters. Oh goodness. Move all the papers. Ooh, I made all these fun little clusters at the retreat. I wonder if one of them might be fun. It's not bad. Maybe this one's a little bigger. I think I like this one better. I'm not going to fuss over it too much. I need to be using the art glitter glue because it doesn't take five hours for it to get down to the thing. I haven't refilled since my retreat. I think I need to. 
Okay, that's just very neutral, but kind of fun. Did that, okay. I better check my, oh, we're doing so good. Yay. Okay, let's put those out of the way. Let's grab another, another something or another. This one could be good. Ooh, and it's got different sides. Okay, let's cut this one. Let's see, it is four and a half, so two and a quarter, right here. We could do one one way and one the other way. Let's do one this way, yeah. This is a mass make of sorts, isn't it? I'm really happy with these, though. This is fun. Okay. I had a bunch of these made ahead, and then I used them all. So now I need to make some more. Okay. And I'm, I'm happy with the cluster bases. I, it's uh, definitely... I'm thinking that might be a scrappy Saturday situation. Okay. Oh, goodness. Sorry, guys. That probably was super loud in your ears. My apologies. I think that one might need a little bit of distressing just cuz so I got a little bit of fussy cutting done yesterday um, I have it's June and so it's time for me to give away a journal over on my patreon the um, the VIP patrons twice a year I give a journal away and um, so it's that time again. And um, so I have one. This time I think what I'm going to do is it's, it's undecorated, but I have all the ephemera all cut out and ready to go for it. And I'm kind of thinking that might be a little bit of fun. That's cute. Um, just to go ahead and you know, give him the journal, the signatures all sewn in and everything. And then they can decorate it up however they want. Use it, this one particular one, they could use as a planner. They could, yeah, it's, it's a cute journal. I'm excited about that. Okay, so there's that one. That one's super cute. I love that one. Okie dokie. Let's do this side where it's got writing on the side this time. I need to emboss some more envelopes too. I'm going to be out of embossed envelopes. <clears throat> I've had folks wanting me to use my big shot on camera, um, which I'm happy to do, except that, gosh, it's, I don't know how to exactly how to do it on camera with my camera set up so that's why I haven't done it um, if I do it over in my mixed media area of filming the table will jiggle all over when I you know when I crank it so that's I don't feel like gonna work very well and then um, but over here it's too I don't know it's too crowded I don't think I would be able to I don't think I would be able to manage it, but we'll see. Maybe I'll take the jump and do it one of these days and just 
see what happens. I got good bases for clusters. I'm excited about that. Oop, not this one. So, so anyway, if you're one of the ones that have asked about that, that's why I haven't done it. Because I just don't know how to do it with my setup. Maybe once the weather gets nicer, I could do it outside. <laughs> outside filming is always iffy, though, because about the time you get the camera started, the neighbors start to mow their lawn <laughs> or something, you know. Oh, I'm, I'm really going to continue to use these because I just would like to use them. So, going to do it. guys are going to be hearing here soon lots about the July retreat because I'm going to be getting ready my very first subby retreat I'm so excited to meet everybody and hang out and craft it's going to be so fun so I've had a lot a lot a lot of questions about how do I find out about your retreats I announce it on on here on oh here we go um i wonder if that one would that one might fit um right here on my youtube i, I think that's just gonna fit um in january i talked about it and um then i had folks con you know contact me and say they wanted to come and that's how it happened so you know i'm gonna see how this one goes it's been a lot of work i can tell you hosting a retreat is some work it takes a lot of time so we're gonna see how it goes and then we'll decide do we want to do another one next year so if you're interested then just keep watching that's all I can tell you, because at some point, if I can get the retreat house and all of that stuff, you'll hear about it here. So, yeah, it's very fun. Ooh, that's going to be a cute one. And I think it's going to go with this flower. That's what I think. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not worried at all about my people that are coming. I'm more worried about is the facility going to be, you know, is it going to work well for us? And I... I think it should, but um, it's going to be close. It's going to be, there's going to be a lot of togetherness. Let's just say that. <laughs> because it's got three bedrooms for um, for 12 people. There's four rooms, two beds. It's like summer camp. That's what I'm telling you. It's going to be like summer camp. Now, that is really cute. I like that. Okay, and then, yes, yes, yes. Sweet. We keep this up, we're going to be able to use these little pretty flowers, these little yo-yos on the um yo-yos on the doily. Yep. Cool. All right. So, I've got another one of those. So we're going to do another one because I've got another one of the flowers too that's just like that. Yeah, so, and you know, I didn't do a special video to say, hello, <laughs> going to host a retreat. 
let me know if you want to come. I, did, I just mentioned it in one of my other videos, you know. So, you know, you don't watch, you miss stuff. That's what I'm telling you. <laughs> oh, it's too much fun, though. I'm excited. Um, just talked to my friend, Catherine, who's doing the meals, and she's excited to do that. Because if you watched my interview with Eve Spade, we were talking about Catherine and how cooking is kind of like Mike. It's her, it's another one of her creative endeavors. She's so good at it. And she's going to do, do some fun things. It'll be great. Okie dokie. Let's give it a little of this. That's good because that part was torn out right there, I think. It's a little rough, but you put a little bit of distress ink on it and it looks great. Okay, so there's another one. And we are just going to pop that on there. Oh, I wonder if this one. I like this one. Yep, I definitely need to do some more of these. I love these. Okay, so then this one is going to go right there. Yeah, so anyway, I, I just have a lot of stuff to, I mean, honestly, I wish I could take my whole craft room because I'm taking a lot of stuff that I don't think, you know, um, I'm taking things for him to use. Coffee dyed paper, book page, um, coffee dyed little bits, all that sort of stuff. I wonder, now I've got these two flowers. I'm wondering if I could find a paper that would look good with them. Ooh, that's so gorgeous. That there's a little Jen Bishop Blue Fern Studio. This has purple. I think I'm going to do that side right there. So I want that probably, probably two and a quarter ish. Let's do that. We're going to get these all done, peeps. I'm so excited. I was hoping, but you know, I wasn't sure. So, it's always hard to know which side to use on the blue fern. <laughs> Cause it's just, it's so gorgeous. Either side is so gorgeous. Okay. Get you good enough? I think I did. Okay, cool. All right. Gonna be a great piece for a ooh for a cluster, right? Ooh. Yummy. Let's go that way. Okay. Yeah, so I hope you don't get tired of hearing about it, but it's definitely what's on my mind right now. It's like, remember this, remember that. I have a list started over there. I need to take um, drop papers because, you know, it's a quilt retreat place. And so they've got like quilted padded 
thingamajiggies for your sewing machine, but we don't need those. We need something that we can get messy on, and I don't want to mess up her tables. So, yeah, so going to need to... Oh, yeah, that's very pretty. Going to need to do that. I just thought of it the other day, and so I'm starting to write things down. I've got lots of boxes started over there already of things to take, but, you know, I wish I could just take my whole craft room. But I want to take as much as I can be like moving day and then moving back oh my gosh that's gonna be something okay so that one's blue I don't know if I have this one I don't know but I have a good scrap for that Let's do that. It's just cardstock, but that's okay. <clears throat> Two and a quarter. That seems to be a good, good width. Okay. So probably after this video, I've got down uh, making making a um, band for your envelopes <laughs> down pretty pat. That's what mass making will do for you. Just is like, it becomes quicker and quicker because you get into a kind of a rhythm. Okay. It's a nice cardstock. I think this is a cardstock that I may have gotten at the retreat house in Anaconda because she has really nice, um, really nice cardstock there. My friend Pam, who makes cards, always gets a lot of her cardstock. I don't use that much plain cardstock, so I usually don't. I can't buy everything else she has, but I don't buy the cardstock. So. Yay, I've used those. You guys, I can't even tell you how long those have been in my craft room. So I feel happy that they have a home on these little envelopes. Okay, and this, and I have one more envelope that I want to do, and then I'll I'll just use a some kind of a cluster on them or something. Cool, that's cute. Okay, let's see. Do I want to just? Should I just use this? It's kind of skinny. And what else do we have quick like here? And I can see. That looks like that's big enough. And that's kind of fun because it's really neutral. Not as easy on that side. <laughs> I'm working around myself. Okay, let's see. Hopefully it's big enough. Oh yeah, it's actually just about right. Okay, that needs to go over a little bit. Sometimes it's off just a tiny bit. Could be how the paper is cut too. Okay. 
one more and we will have done 10 you guys in just that amount of time after doing the collages so I think that's pretty good okay let's do this can't do Timmy without a little distress do you think just doesn't feel right <laughs> Did I tell you that my friends were saying that they thought I should invite Tim Holtz and Mario to my next retreat? Can you imagine? Oh, man. We'd be all so excited. It would be ridiculous. I'd have to film the whole thing for you guys. Let's see. Is that? Oh, I did that backwards. Okay. I'm not sure that they'd accept. You never know. They might want to want to check out Montana. Ooh, what do we have here? I've got these from Triple V Vintage. Let's see if one of those will work. Let's just check it out. Nope, it's too big. He's too big. That's got to be for something else. I think those would be fun tucks on a page, actually. Okay. Let's see. Do I have... Looking for something a bit bigger. I always feel like I grab things and they're too big. This time, I'm not. they're not big enough. No. Okay, let's... Let's go to paper and see what we have. These are too little. I know that. Too little. Ooh, what's this? This is from ePapery. Little slow stitch one. Um, no. I don't think so, but I just spotted something that might work. Got a couple of... That's cool. Okay. And it can be as bumpy as it wants because it's, a, you know, it's on, on its own, if you will. It's not going to be in a journal. So perfect. I'll do a quick little hold up and we'll call it a day, ladies and gents. Love my gents too. There we go. That one is done. That's just kind of fun, kind of different. Okay, so we have 10 of them. Woohoo! Okay. I'll just get them up close a little bit so you can see them up a little closer. So fun. And just use all of these little things. I'm so excited that they that they have a home because, you know, they don't do any good sitting in my craft room. Here's the other one with just a cluster cluster on it. Oops. And these two similar bands. And this first one we did. So thanks everybody so much for watching. Thanks for helping me get these 10 done. I'm feeling great about that. I'm caught up with Marguerite Miller. Life is returning to normal. Just in time for me to have another retreat and, and get it all out of whack again. <laughs> Oh, too much fun. Have a grateful day, everyone. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.